hot. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would show you around my hometown, Houston, Texas. Houston is the fourth largest and most diverse city in the U.S. It's home to Beyonce, the largest rodeo in the world, NASA's Mission Control, and the largest medical center in the world. Houston has survived three historic floods and we're not going anywhere anytime soon. As a longtime Houston native, I am very proud of where I come from. Today, instead of talking about study abroad, I'm going to be showing you around my hometown. And the first stop was Eleanor Tinsley Park, which has the best view of the Houston skyline in the city. Alrighty guys, so the second stop is the Houston Museum of Natural Science. I've been going to this museum since I was a kid, so I have very fond memories of coming here and spending time here. This museum offers the opportunity to see see real dinosaur bones, it has a very very vast paleo hall, to even being able to see a ton of Egyptian artifacts and many more. There is a lot that this museum offers but today we're going to be taking a look at the Butterfly Center. Alrighty guys, let's go take a look. The Butterfly Center was always one of my favorite places in Houston. It has a vast collection of different kinds of bugs that are both native to Texas as well as non-native to the U.S. and as well as hatches its own butterflies in house. There are so many butterflies in the center to look at as well as flying around you and landing on you and it's a great place to take kids as well as get immersed within the habitat of butterflies that you don't generally see within the U.S. So we are at our second museum location. This is the Museum of Fine Arts. Today we're going to be checking out the temporary installation Big Bamboo. The Museum of Fine Arts typically does an annual summer installation and generally they're really, really fun. This is something that my brother and I like to do during the summers, so we're gonna go check that out and we're gonna take you along. This is the James Terrell Light Tunnel, which is a permanent installation in the Museum of Fine Arts. But today we're looking at the art installation of Big Bamboo, which is an interactive installation that will be in Houston until I believe September. It was a spectacular experience. We got to climb onto the installation itself as well as there was so much to discover within the installation and it was truly amazing to see what the artists were able to incorporate within the installation itself. If you live in Houston or you're in the Houston area for travel, be sure to put Big Bamboo on your list of things to see. The Museum of Fine Arts also has a large display of art ranging from both contemporary to very classic pieces, so it's definitely something that you should see if you are traveling in Houston. So we are now headed to probably the busiest part of Houston the Galleria area. If you need to know anything about Houston, it's that nobody knows how to drive. Nobody. Alrighty, so we have made it to the Galleria. We're just gonna go take a walk around. We got some errands to run. We're gonna do a little browsing, but I will show you guys the inside of the Galleria and all the activities and stores it has to offer. Welcome to the Houston Galleria. This mall is apparently world renowned. I'm not so sure about that, but it is the largest mall in Texas and the seventh largest in the US. It holds 375 plus stores. There are numerous fast fashion options such as H&M, Forever 21, Zara, Topshop, and is known for its large selection of luxury brands. As a Houstonian myself, I can confirm that the Galleria is Houston's favorite place to cool down and avoid the heat. I would say Houston probably has about four different skylines, and this is one of them, the Williams Tower, which is located in the Galleria area, completely separate and completely outside of our downtown area and skyline. And right at the foot of it, there is the water wall, which provides great photo opportunities for both proms and weddings, as well as it's just a great place to think, particularly when it's not too hot outside. Here in Houston, the sole thing that we complain about is is obviously the heat. So to beat the heat, we're going to be checking out a specific area of Houston called Montrose. Alrighty guys, so we have arrived in Montrose. Montrose is known as our largest LGBT friendly community in Houston. There is quite a bit to see in Montrose. There are museums, so many restaurants to visit, and as well as so many thrift shops to thrift at. So today I'm going to be taking you guys to my favorite thrift shops. Our first thrift shop is Buffalo Exchange, which offers a large array of secondhand clothes sold for fairly reasonable prices. I ended up having to come back to film part of this section of the video, but I like going to Buffalo because of the quality and the state of each piece. Everything is fairly clean and as well as lightly worn. The next thrift shop that we popped into was a vintage by the pound store called Flamingo, which offers a lot of really unique vintage pieces. All the prices in the store are based on weight, so it's just dependent on how much that piece weighs and as well as what it's priced for. And then I decided to pop into one of my favorites in the deep part of Montrose, which is called Pavement. This one is a large store of secondhand items with almost every style you could imagine, both vintage and modern styles. And then right next door there is a vintage shop called Leopard Lounge, which offers both vintage Western styles as well as vintage styles ranging from the 50s and 60s and capping out right around the 80s and 90s era of clothing. 
Alrighty, so we decided to just take a break from thrifting because it's super hot and something came up. Um, so now we're a little hungry and we decided to stop at Whataburger. Hmm. One of the things that I missed about living in Houston is the food options that I had. Houston is known as the best culinary scene in the US. And even though we picked up some typical Texas fast food, it's still really good. It still tastes like home. There are so many different places and so many different options here. For example, the Vietnamese food options. As a Vietnamese person, I think that the best Vietnamese food lives in Houston, Texas by far. You can fight me on that. You can argue with me on that, but mm -mm. Mm. But we also have barbecue, Mexican food, Tex-Mex, Italian, Chinese food, Korean food, Indian food, any kind of food under the sun, you can probably find it here. There's even places that serve German food. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into my water burger. I just got the regular old burger and fries, just real generic, real American, you know, all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. 